Hey guys, this is Mario with 50 Flowers and I want to really quickly show you how to do aisle flowers. These are going to be the little flowers that sit on the end of your pew or your chairs at your ceremony. You just want to zhuzh up the chairs a little bit. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you two ways. One way to do it with a mason jar and this could actually sit on the ground next to your chair. It could hang off of your chair or I'm going to show you how to hang it off of your chair. No jar included if you want more of like a wild um, look or you just can't quite find a vase that you want to be there. I've seen it both ways so I'm going to show you how. So the first way I'm going to show you is without a vase because you can actually transfer it to the vase very easily. So I am just using some fresh rosemary, some fresh wheat, Queen Anne's lace, and these amazing bloomed out Myra Garden roses. Very cool. So it's super super simple. I am just going to get these kind of stripped, perk of this, it smells amazing, you can save it for like potpourri or something. I am going to just quickly put together a little, little hand tied bouquet here. I'm gonna think about, I want that queen ant to sit out like that. Got some very wild wheat here, boom. Let's put another rose. The guy right there. I love just like the wild hand gathered feel that these always have, but you can design it however you want just to like match your decor. It doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go like that. And then I got one more rose here because I love to design in odd numbers just like that. And then I'm gonna take my string here, take a little bit of it out, and just tie this together like you would an herb bundle or a bouquet. I'm gonna tie it kind of close to the top here of the roses. I'm gonna go around a few times just to make sure it's in there tight. And then get a snip. I'm gonna bring these cords to the back and then I'm gonna tie them together back there because this is actually gonna sit against the chair and I'll show you how to tie it onto the chair. Double knot for safety. Now you can tie it directly onto the post, or I've seen a lot of oh, uh, weeds going wild there. Um, I've also seen a lot where they can hang it like this, so I always like to leave a little bit of like a loop there for it just to hang off of, like such. like that. All right, and the other way we can do this, you can leave this ribbon on here if you want that decoration, but that same little bouquet, if you want, you can just snip it, put it right into the jar, or you can have a nice loose little arrangement in this jar, which I think we can all agree making a little mason jar arrangement is easy as pie. Well, let me just show you how to do it real quick. I'm just gonna take this, it like that. I would have done that anyways if I was hanging it with just the ribbon because I like nice clean bottoms of my stems. That's a little too tall I think so I'm just gonna get a little more there. Okay just like that nice and loose. Maybe I'll rearrange it a little bit and for this one if I'm hanging it off of the chair I'm gonna grab like a a decorative wire. I'm just using this nice silver decorative wire here. I'm gonna put a couple inches around the edge of the vase here so that it's nice and secure. Like this. Twist. And then it's kind of just like what I did with the uh, with the string, I'm just gonna leave a little loop. You could try and tie it to the side of a chair, but it's kind of hard because it's heavier. So I like to leave myself a nice little loop up here and I just do that by kind of twisting these, like a little twist tie and then twisting them kind of back on themselves to lock them in. And you can try and hide them or you could do some nice little coil decoration there, whatever you wanna do. Okay. All right, 
right. As you'll notice, it's a little top heavy because of that base. I forgot because I haven't done one of these in a while. But the great thing is, is that it's gonna sit there against your chair, so it's actually gonna act as like a counter weight or like it's gonna keep everything balanced. But another way, if you're having trouble getting it from tipping forward, you just bring this, you just make it like a shorter loop, so it has less, I don't know what the physics word for that would be, but less room to move. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how to put those on chairs. All right, and that's how you make simple aisle chair, pew chair, any kind of aisle design, just like that, quick and easy. Thanks for watching, guys.